Hey you guys, it's your mirror, aka Mimi. If you are new, welcome to the channel. If you're returning, welcome back. So you guys, let's get straight to it. Okay, it is talk to a shit Tuesday on my channel. I'm gonna talk some shit. I talked some shit a little earlier, earlier in the morning. So if you guys are not catching my live, you can just definitely catch it now. Okay. So let's get to this topic today. I felt the need or the urge to say this. If some of you are uh meeting, meeting new people, but I'm gonna no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm going to say if you are focusing on goals right now, and for some reason you're getting like a surge of new people coming your way, they're definitely sent to distract you. If they are not assisting you on this goal, this personal goal, or whatever you guys are working on to better yourself or experience some sort of expansion and growth in your personal life, um, they're definitely sent to distract you, okay? So I'm hearing for some reason, if you guys are like single, okay, you're definitely out on a dating scene, you are thinking about okay maybe entertaining the idea of dating or meeting new people right now would not be the time because i'm telling you if people are coming into your life they're definitely coming to distract you if they are not offering to assist you on your journey it's a distraction okay straight like that and i'm hearing for some reason if you do get to know a person um watch out for people who ask you what your zodiac sign is okay because i feel like people who do that as soon as they ask you that, run. Because why are you worried about my sun sign? What does my sun sign have to do with my credentials or my worth or who I am as a person? You know, that astrology should, should it, it, sometimes it goes too far. It should not determine who a person is. And I, I was telling you guys last night, well, not last night, but this morning with that live, like sometimes when you misinterpret it or misjudge a person based on small things things you don't like about a person you can definitely miss the person as a whole it's a lot of people out here giving up relationships you know rejecting people based on their sun sign or sometimes even uh what you do for work people who ask that type of question it's kind of normal to ask that if you guys are getting to know someone, you want to know what they do as far as their passions and stuff like that but sometimes you guys can just feel why people are asking you that like, why you want to know so damn bad, you know? So next time somebody asks you, you know, what you do for work, I make money. I make money. That's what I do. I make money. Uh, you should uh, consider saying that because not everyone needs to know what you're doing because sometimes I feel like people will use that answer to gauge how much respect they're going to give you or how they're going to treat you. And like I said, some people will definitely reject you and let you go or push you to the side based off you guys' answer. And some of you guys know, you know, I'm overqualified to be in your damn energy anyway. And you need to start carrying yourself like that. You no, know, so forget people telling you, oh my gosh, be humble. Be a little more down to earth. Where is your humility and stuff like that? My saying is that life humbles you every day. It's between you and a higher power who knows that about yourself. You don't have to uh, display yourself as being overly humble to make other people around you feel comfortable or to prove to them that you're humble. Sometimes it calls for you guys to step in your ego or to, I would say, portray yourself in your ego in order to get through this world, in order to operate in this world, okay? And it's not for you to make everyone else around you feel comfortable. I'm not saying be absolute, uh, you know, really rude and, and arrogant and be an asshole, you know, all day, every day. It's okay to kind of calm that shit down. But once in a while here and there, if you want to, if you need to, in order to get through this world, Step into your ego, fill yourself a little bit, boost yourself up. Where's the confidence? How are you supposed to step into your power if you are lacking in confidence? If you're constantly being humble? Okay, if you guys understand what I'm saying, y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, stop putting yourself down. Stop, I would say, inserting yourself into other people's energy to make them feel better or kind of dimming down your shine, dimming down your light, dimming down who you are to make them feel comfortable. Because no matter what you say, like I said, based on what you give them and where they are, their perspective of how they're looking at things, they're going to view you a certain way anyway. So like I said, if someone asks you about your zodiac sign, they ain't got shit to do with your personality as a whole. Don't tell them. And some of you guys, you know, just try to ask anything. See what they're going to say. You know, it's nothing like uh, meeting a new person, meeting a new friend, meeting a new colleague, meeting a new lover. Okay. And you guys are connecting and vibing and stuff. And the next thing you know, they ask you what your zodiac sign will is and, and, and they basing your whole personality off of that. And they start treating you different. The vibe kind of switches up. And you're like, why are you asking me that? Like, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like Pisces. I don't like Virgos. I don't like Aquariuses. Oh, that's why I'm at Aquarius. You know, that's the last time you, you, you traumatize. You cannot base me, my whole existence, everything about me off of a traumatic experience you had with the last person. Okay. Like stop that shit. 
So I'm telling y'all, if y'all are y'all, y'all get into you know incidents, y'all get into like connections and stuff like that with people, and they constantly worry about that. The craziest thing is that they don't understand that it's more to a person besides their sun sign. If they want to gauge your intelligence, specifically if you guys have an intelligent conversation, oh my gosh. So, and it's not just people that you guys are, you know, romantically interconnected with or connected to or interested in. It's definitely just people as a whole. You know, you have a, a conversation, someone asks you about your strengths and your weaknesses. And when you delve into your strengths, okay, they look at you like, oh, you're being a little arrogant. I don't like that part of that person. Why are they speaking about themselves like that? Why not? Why wouldn't I speak about myself like that? Why wouldn't I speak about myself highly like that? Why? And like, as soon as you guys mention a weakness, they want you to go all week in it and it reveal everything, okay? If you guys will notice that. So like I said, if someone asks you about a strength and you guys have a nice little conversation, maybe your strength is, you know, being intellectual. You guys love to be intellectually stimulated with a nice conversation you guys showcase that um you may notice that people may just it's a certain look they give you okay it's like a certain uh, like uh like like an irritation or a disgust look and you can see them roll their eyes or they're start off at a distance like they're just they're rather be somewhere else and sit there and listen to you what is the purpose of asking someone what their shrimps are if you're, if you're not going to really take it in if you're not going to really listen if you, if you don't really care about that but as soon as they start telling you some old messy ass shit you guys grab the popcorn and be looking. And it's not you guys that's looking, but you guys understand what I'm talking about. When you have those certain people around you, you want to get to know you. You're really thinking that you guys are vibing, like they're really interested and they're really not. Okay, so they find some reason to pinpoint or pick out a flaw to make you humble yourself. And it's like, why I got to do all that? Why ask me my strength if you really don't want to see me strong? You really don't want to see what I'm made of, what I'm capable of. And some people will have this thing about, Meeting new people, connecting with new people, going on dates and stuff like that to try to, I don't know, gain some sort of superiority within themselves. They have to find someone who they feel like is beneath them so they can feel better, so they can feel like they're winning. Okay, so if you ever, 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 I'm telling you ladies this right now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are equal. So uh, whenever you go into a situation to get to know someone, does not have to be dating, does not have to be... Uh, romantically but if they ask you about your sun sign fucking run okay or just try to ask anything because i'm telling you right now and they should be asking is what's your mercury sign okay so they can understand your guys's mind your level of intelligence you know intellectual intelligence and they need to be asking you know what house is it in is it in a house of communication is that why you guys communicate so great is it in you know um, the tenth house is in your midhaven. That's why you showcase this more in your personality than anything. Okay, they should be asking you guys this uh, moon sign. What's your moon sign so they can gauge you guys' emotional intelligence? You understand what I'm saying? So don't fall victim to, um, yeah, revealing certain things about yourself on certain dates or when it comes to connecting with people because they really don't have to know. And, and I feel like that shit is getting out of hand. Okay. Believe me, it's, it's a certain club, I think I read about this, who do not like to invite people born. I think, um, is it February? Is it February or March? I think it's February, March, or it's like, uh, I think it's early March up until like early April. So they don't really want to invite uh, people who are born under the sun sign of Aries. And that's kind of fucked up because it's like everyone who's an Aries does not have the same temperament. They do not behave the same way. So you're not going to invite a whole group of people to the club because you're worried about them fighting and stuff like that. And I feel like it's so petty and it's so silly. Some of you guys may have heard about it, but it's really, really silly. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. And uh, besides that, besides was something else I wanted to say, there was something else I wanted to say. What was it? I, I had to put my little time on. I had to put my 15 minute time on because I just felt myself about to go over because it was something else I wanted to get in for the Talk Your Shit Tuesday because I really want to talk some shit and people, I don't know, people need to hear certain things about themselves or they need to get confirmation on what they have been picking up, okay? But it's definitely something else I wanted to get into. Um, Number one. Some of you guys, like I said, you, you you know you're kind of overqualified to be in other people's energy, for people to be in your energy. You already know that you shouldn't be communicating or interacting with certain people. And it's not 
due to you guys feeling like you're better. Sometimes you just know that you're overqualified to be in certain places or to be conducting yourself or surrounding yourself with certain people. They will definitely bring your energy down. And I'm telling you right now, energy will never lie to you. You can just feel that shit. I do not belong here. I'm overqualified for this. And there's nothing wrong with this. Stop allowing people to convince you that you're not humble enough. You should humble yourself. And no, no, I don't have to humble myself around you to make you feel comfortable with who I am. If you don't like me, get your ass off my energy. Straight like that, okay? Some of you guys know that you're overqualified uh, to be in other people's lives to the point where people will never, ever, ever in their damn life, again, come into contact with someone like you. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. They won't be able to experience your vibe. They won't be able to experience your joy. Okay, your happiness that you bring other people. They won't be able to, you know, to experience any of those things anymore. As soon as you guys walk away and you guys understand that you don't belong in their vicinity, you don't belong in their energy. Um, yeah, they definitely will feel it. The shift will happen. So if you guys are in situations like that, you're around people who just... Uh, misread you okay misunderstand you purposely misjudge you um and, and just misjudge you based on silly shit okay things that really shouldn't matter okay to make themselves feel better or to somehow uh, make you feel small okay or to take away everything great about you to take away your strengths to pick away your strengths and trying to convince you that the strengths are weaknesses okay stay away from those people take your ass away from those people don't worry about how they're going to look at you. Oh, well, if they look at you as feeling like you're better than them or more than them, that's their perspective of you. You're not going around holding a sign saying, I'm better than you. Treat me a certain way. No, that's how they feel in your presence. And it's nothing you guys can do. I really did want to get some cards, but when it wants to come out, okay? Nine of swords, seven of swords in reverse. <laughs> I really sometimes don't feel the need to pull cards because I do feel like, you know, the energies definitely have to be right. Yeah, it's a lot of people out here stressed over you. Okay, feeling like you guys have alternative motives and stuff like that when you guys are out here talking about yourself or you're putting yourself out here, uh, you know, showcasing who you are. It's something about the intellect. It's like when someone sees that you guys are an intelligent person, for some reason they have the urge to question you or try to challenge you in some way or like i said pick away at certain flaws or just believe that you guys it's, it's something wrong about your intelligence or your level of intelligence and, and maybe they need to find you know what's really going on with you to convince themselves or to prove themselves right half the time it'd be their ass out here stressing about you they're going through their own mental anguish and stuff like that and they're trying to project onto you and make you feel bad I think the last conversation I had with someone who was trying to get to know me on a romantic level, you know, we got into a conversation on, you know, the zodiac signs and stuff. And he was telling me to explain, you know, what I do, astrology and stuff like that. I'm like, sometimes, you know, if you're not interested, because one thing about me, if I have a certain subject I love to talk about, and that's one of my uh, obsessions. Okay. I definitely have certain obsessions that I do focus on and astrology spirituality, all different types of stuff. I'm into Hinduism right now. Um, I'm like focused on that. A lot of things, I'm learning a lot of things about that. I'm still learning as I'm going, okay? So I wanted to get into all those things with him. And it's like, he's asking me these questions. And the more I tell him, he is out of nowhere in the middle of me telling him, you know, about my little obsession about what I've learned, you know, about astrology and stuff like that. Um, the first thing he asked me, what's, what's your zodiac sign? I'm like, why, why, what does it have to do with anything? Okay. What does it have to do with anything? So, like I said, I don't know if it was too much for him to take in, or maybe he was feeling a little intimidated about the information that I was giving to him, you know, like, damn, I didn't think he knew that much about this certain subject. It was like, he was trying to, you know, poke holes or figure out it's no way a person like you could just know it you know, a whole bunch of things like that. It's no way of crazy. Basically, you understand what I'm saying? And people do have that type of thought process. It's like, okay, they look at you a certain way. They have certain expectations about your personality, about you, about, you know, what you're made of or what you're all about. And when you guys show them something else, when you in some way uh, show them more than what they are expecting, they're looking for ways to, you know, poke holes in you or to kind of bring you back down to their own level of comprehension. Sometimes people cannot comprehend intellectually what you're about 
okay? Please understand that some of you guys are way overqualified to be in certain people's energy. And it's not trying to make yourself feel superior. It's just knowing that I don't I don't belong here. I need to surround myself with my people, with my own people, people who are actually vibing on my level. And there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? Allow people to deal with their own shit, whatever they're going through. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe he was having one of those days where he was, I don't know, uh, going through certain things about himself. Maybe he was feeling a little intimidated by what I was saying that he had to ask what my sun sign was. And I was like, you know, it was a Virgo. That that, that kind of explains why you're a know-it-all. You, you really going to base my whole personality. And from then on, it's like the conversation got really weird. It got really, like you already have your, your preconceived notions about who, who a person, like who is a Virgo, how they're supposed to behave or uh, what to expect from me. So right then and there, it's like, I don't know. Yeah. People who will have a need to control other people's perspective and stuff like that the emperor in reverse this is definitely not a person who can control themselves so if you guys like are a very cerebral person a very intelligent person a person who is uh i would say in their power heavily in their power knowing who they are their worth their confidence their self-esteem is through the roof you guys will in some way attract many people people of both spectrums okay who are just like you who are the opposite of you people who have not figured out who they are so they go through the world uh I don't, I don't know like having the need to control or pull these other people to make themselves feel better and it's like a sense of control okay when someone exhibits knowing more than them or maybe having more of uh or I, i'm gonna say be a little more overqualified than they are they feel a need to attack it's something about attacking someone, attacking something you can't comprehend, attacking something you don't understand because you feel like they're not on your level with this power card. Okay, it does something to them internally. Some of you guys have a certain thing about you, a certain level of intelligence about you that, you know, when you speak on it, you don't understand what you stir up in other people. You don't understand what you create in other people, what you bring out in other people. Okay, Ace of ace of swords you don't understand that it's something about that intellect you say one thing it takes someone off to kind of trigger the person to have a spiral they start questioning their own reality and start questioning their own beliefs and like i said they kind of look for holes on what you're saying and the first thing they want to do is shut you down try to make you feel small so once again if you guys find yourself conducting yourself with other people, new people, and you feel like you're vibing and they ask you what your zodiac sign is, uh, fucking Ron, the conversation should be over. Don't worry about it. Because when they ask you that, they, they're really about to engage or they're really about to gauge how much respect they're willing to give you or how much credibility they're, 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 they're wanting to uh, give you, okay? They want to invalidate what you're saying because there's no way that you're a person like this and you look like this and you're coming off like this. It's something about you I have to pick apart. It's some flaw I have to point out to, to discredit what you're saying. Because there's no way you know this much. There's no way you're you're this you're this bright. There's no way you're shining this bright. There's no way you're overqualified. There's no way that you're a little bit more than what I was expecting. So let me go ahead and ask you about something that's irrelevant as shit. Okay. So that is a segment for your Talk Your Shit Tuesday. If you guys like this, of course, hit the like button. If you feel like it didn't resonate, leave it alone, okay? Everything will resonate with your ass. It is crazy how people think that every message I put out here is somehow about me and I'm projecting or somehow about another person and I'm trying to start drama. No, 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 no. This is a general, general message, okay? It's not always about one particular person. God, so you aren't the only person I read for. There's plenty of, plenty of people who watch my channel Okay, different people who watch my channel who I vibe with on certain days. Sometimes I keep telling you guys I'm not the same every single day. No one is the same every single day. We're constantly going through changes. We're constantly going through different energies. We vibe with whoever we feel like we need to vibe with. Okay? So please remember that if it's not 
apply. If this does not apply, if it does not resonate with you, once again, leave it. Share with someone that you feel like it can resonate with or it will resonate with, okay? I do want you guys to have a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday. It is Talk Your Shit Tuesday. If you feel like you need to open your throat chakra up, okay? Um, Try with, definitely try with yourself. Um, make sure you guys are staying hydrated, of course. You can get that, uh, those vocal cords kind of, uh, <laughs> I don't want to say I don't want to say wet or moist because people hate those words, okay? And it might trigger someone. But make sure they're nice, uh, nicely lubricated, okay? Lubricated. That's the word. And it might sound a little a little sus too, but um, make sure you guys are actually keeping yourself hydrated where you are not coughing, okay? And it's not closing up. And I'm also hearing that if you would like to you know, talk some more shit, really, really delve into communication or strengthening your communication. Um, definitely practice with yourself in the mirror first, okay? Uh, once you start to be a little more open and vulnerable with yourself, you know, speaking your own truth, it comes naturally when it comes to other people, okay? So um, I hope this helps. I hope this little match was able to give you guys some sort of motivation in some way or help you. Thank you for vibing with me and for watching. I definitely will see you guys next time. Bye.